Hey everyone, it's Darlene Taylor, the Recycled Mom, and welcome back. Today is results day for week one of Countdown to D's Day. So I'm really excited to share some good news with you, some positive results I had this week doing the seven day juice plan from Jason Vale, the juice master. I will leave his link down in the description box and you can go check out some of the amazing plans that, that he has. He has a seven day plan, a five day plan, a 28 day super juice me plan. He has also has apps in the app store. And by the way, I am not paid by Jason Vale or anyone else or any of his affiliates to say anything. I'm just sharing results and uh, my experience from doing the seven day juice fast. This is my second time doing it. I've done it two years ago. I had such a good uh, experience with that and I felt really good that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it again. So I think it's good for us to cleanse our bodies um, of, of all of the, the stress and the junk, just from the things that we put in our body. It's really good to get rid of all of that and to just start off with a clean slate and putting the stuff that's good back into our bodies. Before I get started, I want to tell everyone to be sure to comment below because I'm going to be looking for a commenter of the week. If you're commenting on my videos and being engaged and involved, there will be a, I will um, look for a commenter of the week and give your channel a shout out in next week's video. So please be commenting. I love the interaction. I read all of the comments and I try to respond to every single one. And so I do appreciate them. I appreciate your involvement. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you know when I am uploading new videos and you can follow along in this journey to count down to D's day. Okay, so here we go. Seven pounds in seven days. Did I do it? Let's see. I said I was, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm nervous about doing it, but here you go. It's all out on the table. Day one starting weight was 182. Day six, I mean, sorry, day eight was 176. I lost six pounds and I lost two inches on my waist this week. In seven days, I was able to lose the weight, or lose some weight, get, get a good jump start. I was able to lose inches around my waist, which is a goal. I wanna see my waist again. My back pain is gone. Now, it's not 100% gone, gone, but I mean, it's, it's to a point where I, I can move, I can do things, I don't have to take medications, I'm pain-free, but I still know that in the back, you know, right where it hurts. I still know where it's at. I still, you know, have to be careful, but this is allowing me to be able to start getting some movement in and starting to get some of the flexibility back in my back and start to get my health back. So yes, I am getting healthy to lose the weight. And I am so excited because I had, I feel like I had a great week. So uh, with that said, let me tell you a little bit about what my week was. Jason's program is really good about this. When you buy the book or you can purchase the app in the app store, each day he lays everything out for you, what you're going to have and what your schedule is going to be. And then he'll give you some exercise suggestions to do. So day one looks like this. So day one, here is my schedule. I had, I started at 7 a.m. with hot water and lemon, and then I juiced every three hours, okay? And then I ended my day with tea, okay? It was, um, for me, this week, because I was detoxing from a lot of things. So it was bad. I felt horrible the first few days. So I thought I would be doing a little bit better than I was since it's the first day. Usually the first day is not the bad. It's like the second or third day, Ugh. but I'm not doing well today. <laughs> so today I've had five juices and I was doing okay till, I don't know, it was about maybe three-ish, between three and four. And you know, I've told you before, that's kind of the time that I usually get tired, but I'm feeling like I'm coming down with the flu. My kids, everybody knows what I'm going through. I don't, I'm, I'm not a witch or anything. Um, I just get real quiet. You know, I curled up in a blanket and I slept. The first few days I felt horrible. Um, I felt sick, like just, um, just, you know, body aches and headaches. And my back pain that had kind of subsided had come back and had come back with a vengeance. So I had body aches galore. 
about the fourth day, I could see myself coming through the tunnel and start to see the light. And I thought, okay, here we go. Um, still had some back pain. And by that point I said, I really need to take, I have to take something just to be able to, I was in tears. So I took some ibuprofen on a, uh, on an evening and sat with an ice pack. And I think I just froze my back, just <laughs> I I froze it solid. <laughs> um, but I was able to get relief that I was able to get some sleep. And on, uh, Thursday I had took some ibuprofen again. Um, Friday, I only had one dose of ibuprofen, and Saturday, I didn't take anything. And Sunday was a repeat of Saturday. So today is Monday uh, that I'm recording this video, and I, I'm just, I'm just very happy. I'm not feeling any of that back pain, and I'm hoping that it's going to continue. And that's what I'm getting ready to move into is the next few days I have to come off the fast. And you don't want to break your fast eating the way you were. I don't want to jump right into um, keto eating, which is what I was kind of doing before. Actually, back in 2017 was when I was doing it, and I did really well. However, in 2017, 2018, my body is trying to like, it, my body is all over the place with hormones. So what the week looked like for juicing, my day was, pretty, <laughs> was spent in the kitchen with the juicer. That was the pain in the butt. Chopping, slicing and dicing, juicing, blending. Was that monotonous? Mm, a little bit, but you know what? I chose to be there. I chose to do this and I knew what was coming. I had mentally prepared for it. So one of my four M's is mindset. That's my mindset. I knew what was coming. I had resolved myself to doing it. And I said, I'm in this for seven days because I am in this for me. So, you know, if you're, if you're listening to this and you're just, and you're thinking about juicing, just be prepared for that. Be prepared that, you know, it's going to take some work unless you have a real super fancy juicer, which I do not have, <laughs> you know, where you can just kind of throw everything in the chute and not even have to cut it up. There's one of the recipes you, that he had was telling you how you could load it up in a specific juicer. And in literally you could just throw a whole apple in the chute and just press it on down. I don't have that capability. <laughs> I have to cut everything up. So this week, my Schmeck is, seems to be in check for right now. 
So I, I've gotten good sleep of average about six hours. I've had a nap in the afternoons this week. It wasn't every day, but it was every day that I had an opportunity, I took a nap. Sleep my hunger. I did not now. There were times that I felt like I felt my stomach growl, and that was right about the time I was going to have a juice. And I don't know why I just thought of this, but some of you that are watching and maybe wondering, you know, well, doing all that juicing, it's going to make you be in the bathroom a lot. You know, I wasn't in the bathroom a lot, not going number two or having blowouts or anything. Okay, and so movement. Um, I did not do a lot of movement this week because I felt so bad surviving. <laughs> All right, and meals, well, we all know what my meals were. My meals were all of the um, the the juicing, okay, and metabolics. So my metabolism and, you know, my metabolics, my hormones is what I'm actually concentrating on. Um, so I don't have any updates on that part yet. Okay, and now it's time for fitness throughout the ages. And each week as I update you on my journey, I'm also going to update you on just some interesting tidbits about exercise. So the my first one for this week is it doesn't really even have a name. It was just called the ball game. And around 1500 BC, the Olmec civilization in Mexico developed a game in which players use their hips, bottom, knees, elbows to move a heavy, heavy rubber ball through a ring. And to me, when I read about this, it sounded a lot like the very first soccer game. You couldn't use your hands. You had to use your body. It was mainly your hips and they would hit the ball around and it was a rubber ball. And yes, they knew how to make a ball <laughs> at that time. They knew, and it was out of rubber from a rubber tree and um, they fashioned it into a ball and they would hit it with their hips maybe their backside, and you didn't see them use their knees or elbows a lot. It was mainly a lot with the hips and stuff. And then the ball would weigh about approximately 10 pounds. So that was one heavy ball that they were hitting around. So you can imagine when the game was being played, there were lots of broken bones. Uh, you could get a concussion if you got hit in the head with the ball. I mean, 10 pound ball flying at your head. The arenas that they would play in, you know, back in this time, everything was stone. So the arena that they would play in, they would have walls up and they would have a stone ring up on the top. And if they could get the ball up through that ring, that's when they got their points. So you could, it was up. I mean, it was like, so it's like combination of soccer and basketball. And they played this for um for for centuries this was like the game it was known simply as the ball game it was popular across mesoamerica and played by all major civilizations from the olmecs to the aztecs and the contests even supplied candidates for human sacrifice for the sport could quite literally be a game of life or death can you can you i'm just like Oh my goodness. And let me show you this stone ring. I don't know if I can get a picture up or not, but let me show you this stone ring. You see that is up on the wall, a stone wall. Whoops, sorry. Good grief. There you go. And you can see that, and then they would have to get that up there, get that ball up there through that ring. So that is like the very first game recorded in history <laughs> by the Olmec civilization in Mexico. How about that? Hey, everybody learned something new today. <laughs> All right, so some things I'm gonna be doing this week as I head into week two of Countdown to D's Day. I'm going to be continuing to ease back into regular food. I'm also going to be not eating after seven o'clock is absolutely no eating at all. Uh, gradually start adding some light meat in, like maybe some fish. For anyone who is going through any kind of a lifestyle change and you are making sacrifices for your better health, this tip is for you. Remember, you can have whatever you like. This is your choice and you are choosing to have freshly extracted juices to clean your system, test your character, and change your body shape. Now, that was for me and that was for juicing. It helped me get through the week because I was remembering I chose to be here and I am choosing to have this food that is going to clean my system, test my character, which it did for the whole week, and change your body shape. I want to encourage you to remember that yes, you can have whatever you want the choice is yours. 
what are you going to be choosing for yourself today and for this week that is going to be good for your health, that will test your character and change your body shape. All right, until next time, see ya.